Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on knowing the place value of digits in decimal numbers. Now in the previous video we looked at the place value of whole numbers and we saw when we didn't have this dot on the end that the rightmost digit was the units digit so this was worth four units. The next digit was the tens digit so this is worth three tens. The next digit is the hundreds digit, so this is worth seven hundreds. And this is the thousands digit, so this is worth five thousands. Now, on the right of the units digit, we have something called the decimal point. And that basically allows us to divide a whole, because remember, this represents four holes. We can actually divide a whole into smaller parts. So we have parts of a whole. So this is known as a decimal point. And then after, this is when we've divided that whole into smaller parts. So this is known as the tenths digit. So that means each of these is worth a tenth of a whole. So if I had a whole thing and I wanted one tenth, then if I divide this into ten pieces, I just want one of those tenths. So I've divided that whole up into tenths and I just want one of them. And then this last digit here is the hundredths digit. So it sounds like hundreds, but it's hundredths. So there's an extra T and an H. And then we can divide it up further. You might think, well, that's tens, tenths, hundreds, hundredths. So this is thousands. You might think the next one would be the thousandths digit. Let's in fact add that. So if we had an extra digit on the end, that would be the thousandths digit with a th just before that last s. So let's use our knowledge of place value to answer these questions. So we've got the first question, we got 343.1. What is the four worth? Now, this is a decimal point here. Now the digit just to the left of the decimal point, that's the units digit. And then we can see to the left of that, we've got the tens digit. So that's the tens digit. And that's the one we're interested in, this four here. So that's worth four tens. And the way we write the answer, we can either write it as four tens, or we can write 40, because that's what four tens are. Four times 10 is 40. Now, what about the second one? This is where we have to go after the decimal point. 5.79, what is the seven worth? So this digit here, well, we can see from this example up here that just right of that decimal point, that's where we have the tenths digit. So just right of that decimal point, that's where we have this tenths digit. And we can see we've got seven of them. So we have seven tenths. So we could write that as seven tenths. Don't forget the th, it's not seven tens, it's seven tenths. And we could actually write that in the sort of second form as 0.7. Because we're ignoring the units here, we're just concentrating on that digit here. So we have zero units, and then we've got seven tenths. And the last one, 0.5837, what is the eight worth? Well, again, let's look at the example. We've got the five here, the digit just right at that decimal point is the tenths digit. We go one along, the next digit is known as the hundredths digit. And how many of those hundredths we got? Well, we got eight hundredths. So we could write that as eight hundredths with the th at the end. Or we could actually write it as 0 0.08. Notice that that eight is in the same position. So decimal point, decimal point, right one, right one, it's in the same place. And basically we've put zero for all the other digits because we're only focusing on that one digit. So we've got those eight hundredths here, but we don't also want to include the tenths digit or the, the units digit here. So we just put zero there.